Ever wonder what it's like to be in the cockpit of an aircraft carrier? Have you ever heard of the smallest room on an aircraft carrier's flight deck? The bubble. To be in a tiny glass room in the middle of a giant aircraft carrier and watch and control every takeoff on the carrier is a sight to behold. The bubble is the heart of the ship and in this video, we'll look at the remarkable engineering behind the catapult control system and how operators can use the bubble, a unique component between catapults 1 and 2 on the starboard side. Join us as we explore the fascinating world of aircraft carrier flight decks. The Bubble An aircraft carrier is one of the largest and most powerful vessels in a Navy fleet. Its vast flight deck, extending more than 305 meters in length, is the site for an impressive display of military power. At the center of this grand spectacle lies the bubble, the smallest room on board an aircraft carrier. This tiny room houses critical flight deck operations and serves as a hub from which all missions are launched. The bubble is located between catapult 1 and 2 on the starboard side and to the left of catapult number 4 on the port side. It contains a variety of control panels consisting of input system readouts, array switches, and capacitor selector valve position consoles, among other components. The bubble provides an operator with detailed information about all aspects of launching an aircraft. This includes data such as wind direction and speed, catapult acceleration rate and aircraft weight, all essential factors needed to ensure a safe launch. It also allows for remote stations to be used in place of it if necessary. These remote stations can operate older catapults without requiring direct access to the bubble itself therefore allowing for more efficient operations on board an aircraft carrier. In addition to its controls, the bubble also contains communication systems that link it up with other parts of the ship such as flight control towers or ground crew members who are charged with overseeing various aspects of launching operations. Because of its small size, operators must work in close proximity when performing their tasks inside the bubble, making it both cramped and incredibly important at the same time. From inside the bubble Being in the bubble is an extremely unique and captivating experience. It's a window into the inner workings of an aircraft carrier's flight deck, literally providing a bird's eye view of the entire deck from just one point. The bubble is surrounded on all sides by high-tech consoles and equipment, making it feel like you're in a complex cockpit that controls the entire operation. Here you can see every action as it takes place on the flight deck below. From prepping for takeoff to launching an aircraft, from within the bubble you have a perfect view of each of the four catapult launch systems including their large pistons and T-bars which attach to each aircraft's nose gear before launching. The catapult officer uses light switch units, status lights, readabouts, and switches to guide each launch through its normal sequence. This helps expedite the process and get planes in the air quicker than ever before, allowing up to one plane to take off every 20 seconds if need be. From inside this room, you can witness firsthand this incredible feat of engineering that makes these incredible feats possible. When an aircraft takes off from one of the catapults, a powerful force immediately climbs up into your chest as you witness firsthand what it's like to be part of something larger than life. It's truly awe-inspiring to know that as long as this room runs smoothly, so does every other part of this adventure. The Catapult Control System The Catapult Control System consists of a console, input system readouts, and array switches, and the Capacitor Selector Valve Position Console. With these components, the operator can easily guide the catapult through a normal launching cycle. The console is located in the bubble, which is positioned between catapults 1 and 2 on the starboard side, or to the left of catapult number 4 on the port side. It provides an overview of all elements necessary for launching an aircraft from this particular carrier's catapults. 
The input system readouts provide information about engine power output, while erase switches enable precise control over each individual element involved in releasing aircrafts from their respective catapult positions. Finally, with help from its capacitor selector valve position console, operators are able to adjust voltage levels depending on how much weight they anticipate being loaded onto each individual catapult during the launch sequence. Overall, the bubble is an incredible feat of engineering and a crucial part of aircraft carrier operations. It provides operators with detailed information needed to ensure safe launches while also allowing for remote stations if necessary. From inside this room, you can witness firsthand what it takes to launch one plane after another in quick succession. It's truly awe-inspiring. We hope that our video has provided you with insight into the inner workings of an aircraft carrier's flight deck, and inspired your own appreciation for these amazing feats of technology. Like and subscribe and comment down below about what you found most surprising about the video. Thanks for watching and press the bell icon for more exciting videos like this one.